Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my automobile bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? If you do, maybe we can chill. Like if Good morning, family. Good morning, Slayers. Okay, so today's cash stuffing is going to be a little light. Because the theme of this first paycheck of July has been bills, bills, bills. Like, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my automobile bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? If you do, maybe we can chill. Like, it was just... Okay, so I have had to pay a lot of bills this paycheck and only because, I only say a lot of bills because for my last paycheck, um, the last paycheck of June, I actually somehow, some way forgot two bills. And so I had to like finagle some things and move money around. And so I'm trying to like pay back what I took from the from other things for in June to pay for those two bills that I missed so it's just more like just catch up and then just paying bills that that is the theme of this paycheck um so we're not going to be stuffing all of my sinking funds uh my cash envelopes I did not stuff them I actually kept the money on my debit card and then just used my debit card to buy the things that I wanted to buy. Um, so I'll tell you guys what I allocated for each of those for my cash envelopes. And then we'll talk about the envelopes that I am stuffing. But yeah, I just needed y'all to see the bills. <laughs> so many bills. Oh, goodness. And like my first June paycheck, not June, first July paycheck was actually pretty decent like normally my paychecks average like 760 maybe 800 dollars every two weeks but this time thanks to you know good old Juneteenth since I got holiday pay I was able to actually like break into the 900 realm like and then plus the money that I received from Etsy for that giant order that I had I actually like was two dollars away from making a thousand dollars for my first paycheck of July but it just like Biggie said the more money you get the more problems because <laughs> then I realized I had forgot bills so I had to pay the kids aftercare as usual I'm so excited that that is almost over because we are going on vacation soon so they will not be here for the next two weeks. So that is definitely a bill that I'm so glad to say goodbye to. Um, then I played Netflix, Comcast, uh, my credit one credit card, which we're gonna talk about later. Um, then I had to pay for Amazon Music as well as um, Amazon Prime, which I really need to start saving to just buy the yearly subscription because this every month thing is, is getting annoying. So paid for my Amazon Music and Amazon Prime. And then for, I had another payment with Amazon because I did um, Afterpay to buy the boys uh, tablets because they really needed them. Not that they even play with them now. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Nobody knows how to waste your money like your kids. So I finished paying off the Amazon Afterpay for the boys tablets. And then I put money in my savings, took out my $163 per usual for Disney. Because we're still treating that like it's a bill. Um, and then I set money aside for our new little savings challenge that we're doing that I'm so excited about, the Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge. Um, and then I had to replenish our Sam's Club, which I had every intention of completely canceling our Sam's Club membership because I was like, okay, we're not canceling it, but downgrading to the basic plan instead of the Sam's Club Plus. Because I was like, we don't spend that much money in Sam's Club to warrant paying 
extra for this membership. So I'm just going to go back down to the, the little $45 membership, but then I'm such a sucker. The lady at the customer service was able to convince me to keep it. So we are still Sam's Club Plus members. But yeah, so that is where majority of my money went. And I only I, I got to look at it for like a good two days before it was all basically gone. <laughs> um, bills. But such is life. It's what happens when you adult, I guess. But so that left us with only two hundred and fifty dollars to budget with. And so if you've made it through my long spiel and monologue at the beginning of this video, use a real one, but now let's just get into the cash stuffing. Okay, so first, trying to keep everything in order. Um, like I said, our cash envelopes, we already spent the money. I already went and got my gas. I already went and got groceries. I went um, and got household stuff. I got laundry detergent, paper towels, all that stuff. So are all of our cash envelopes we're not worried about because we have already spent the money that was supposed to go in them. So we are starting with prep and landing and our first envelope is going to be Tom Tom's, which will be his usual $10. And so now in his envelope, he has 10, 20, $30. And then he also has $145 bank so now let's move on to Theo we'll also be getting his ten dollars put that there and he should have 30 as well same as Thomas thirty dollars add that with his 145 that he has in the savings account and back to school is getting its usual 40. Uh, so two 20s. Like if I didn't talk so much in the beginning, I think this would be the fastest cash stuffing I've ever done. Uh, but it bees like that sometimes. Not all the time are you gonna, is your bank account gonna run its over for you to just have so much money to stuff but still you make it do what it do all right so for new house is getting ten dollars put that in there and as you can see new house is empty because we did uh take the money to the bank and deposit it so i believe i have to double check online i'll put the real number down at the bottom of what is actually in new house um, to include what is in the bank, um, new car that is also getting ten dollars, and that is also empty because we took that to the bank. Um, emergency fund that is also empty because remember I told y'all I had to finagle some things. I had to use that money to pay for the bills that I forgot about, and just so again we're starting from scratch. With the emergency, eventually, eventually we will get it together. One day we will so get it together and be able to stack our emergency fund like originally intended. Um, and then for travel, that is also getting $10. And do some real counting. Oh. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 41. So $141 is now in travel. I'm actually saving in travel to get 
my passport renewed for when we go on our Disney cruise to the Bahamas because mine expired and in the move my passport got lost so I actually had to like write a letter to some government office in Washington to request could they give me my passport number so that I could put in the referral pay like it was a whole thing and I have still have yet to hear anything back about what my passport number is so that I can go and get a new passport. Like I need to figure out if there's a number for me to call to be able to talk to a physical person instead of just sending in a letter to a PO box and hoping somebody answers me. <sighs> so yeah, travel is for my new passport. And that brings us to the end of our envelopes. That was real quick and cute. So now, moving on to our Hot Girl Summer envelopes. And we're going to sit this one to the side because I do not have any extra cash to stuff in it as of right now. Um, but I may, I'll go check my um, cash wallet, my wallet to check my cash envelopes that I carry to see if I do have any change in there that I can put into our uh, weekly Hot Girl Summer envelope. But going into the bi-weekly one, here it is. So pretty, so pretty. Created again by Wonder Print Creations, which I believe is Wanderlusting Divas um, print company. She has a YouTube. She's also in the budgeting community. So $150. Here it is. Everybody say hi. And we're just gonna fold that over and add it to the account. Now I have decided that the $300 that I'm gonna be saving for this challenge is gonna go towards paying off my um, Credit One credit card, which is currently at a balance of, posted on the screen, so I want to pay that off. So that $300 will be going towards that. And I printed out the uh, weekly uh, Hot Girl Summer envelope as well because I figure any cash that I have left over from my cash envelopes, I'll put in here. That way I can just add it to the $300 that I'll be saving to pay off credit one and just add it all together. Put in a giant lump sum payment to hopefully have that card paid off. Because I'm trying to be consumer debt free. That is the goal. So one credit card at a time, we will get there. But yeah, that is it, guys. Like I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and making things happen for ourselves. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry that this wasn't like the longest but I don't know. I feel like you guys might like shorter budgeting videos. So we'll see. Let me know in the description below. All right, guys. Bye.